Hey guys, Adam Benson here, Senior Applications Engineer for Hawkridge Systems. We often get asked about the process of moving a DriveWorks shared group from one server to another. Now this may seem like a daunting task, but let me show you just how simple it actually is. To start things off, I think it's important to understand a bit about the setup of the shared group and what it includes. A shared group is required when more than one connection to the group is needed at the same time. And it's created using a Microsoft SQL database. The Pro Server application is then installed and connects to the Microsoft SQL instance. The Pro Server is how clients establish their connection to the group, making it easier for them to connect. And it's made up of four different sections. The SQL Server section is where you will browse to or simply enter in your SQL Server and instance name. The username and password can be used to connect to the instance with a SQL user that has create, alter, and connect any database permissions. Alternatively, you can check the trusted connection checkbox to use the user account that is running the Pro Server service defined in the Pro Server section. Make sure to click the test connection button to confirm the connection. In the Pro Server section, you can leave the default local system account to run the service or switch to a user account. Again, this will depend on what account you choose to use for the connection to the SQL instance on the previous section. The group section is where you will define the administrator login information. This is needed when upgrading a DriveWorks group from one version to another or creating a new shared group. This section will also provide a list of existing shared groups. And finally, the connection section will provide a list of current connections to each shared group, breaking it down by module, computer name, and user. Now that we've got that out of the way, let's take a look at the process of moving a shared group. Step one is to back up the shared group. Because the shared group is a SQL database, we'll need to take a backup of the database using SQL Server Management Studio. Simply log in to the SQL instance hosting the database, find it, right click on it, choose Tasks, and Backup. We'll use the default location for the backup, but you can use the Add button here to change the location for where it will be saved. Once the backup is complete, we'll need to move it to the new server using a simple cut and paste. On the new server, install Microsoft SQL and create the SQL instance. Now I've already done that here, and I've also installed the DriveWorks Pro server and configured it with the correct credentials as we discussed earlier in this video. Once that's complete, Hop on a client machine and open the DriveWorks administration module as I have here, and then create a new shared group. To avoid having to rename the group later, give it the same name as on the previous server. Enter the new server name and the administration login information as defined in the Pro Server setup. Click Finish and set a password for the admin user of the new group. We can now restore the shared group database to overwrite the dummy one we just created. This process is very similar to how we created the backup. Open SQL Server Management Studio and connect to the new SQL instance. Expand Database, right click on the shared group database, and choose Tasks, Restore, and Database. The backup file created earlier will need to be moved to a local location where it can be accessed from SQL Server Management Studio. Here, I'm simply just placing it right on the C drive. Under Source, choose Device, then click Browse and Add. Browse to the backup file created earlier. Click Options on the left and check the box to overwrite the existing database. You can also choose to close all existing connections to make sure the database is not in use. At this point, we need to stop and disable the Pro Server service on the old server. This is done by opening Windows Services, finding the DriveWorks Pro Server service, right clicking, and going to Properties. We will want to first stop the service, then disable it. Because the group was previously owned by the old server, we need to force the ownership to the new server using the Pro Server tool. Open the Pro Server tool, click the Groups section, 
select the moved group and click force ownership. The recent list for each of the DriveWorks applications now needs to be updated to ensure we are connecting to the new group. Start by opening the DriveWorks Administrator, then click the Open Group button. We will open the existing shared group from the Pro server. Enter the new server name and choose the existing group to open it. This will automatically update the recent list in the DriveWorks Administrator. Congratulations, you've successfully moved your DriveWorks shared group. Be sure to check out our other videos and subscribe. Thanks for watching.